Senator John Cornyn is in Del Rio today to talk about the impact the current migrant crisis is having on Texas border communities. He's trying to spark momentum for his bipartisan Border Solutions Act. It would establish new processing centers and add staffing to relieve local criminal justice systems. KXAN's Maggie, Maggie Glynn got exclusive access to today's roundtable and takes a look at how local leaders in Del Rio have been grappling with the record-setting amount of crossings that have happened so far this year. Thousands of Texas DPS troopers and National Guardsmen are deployed all across our southern border as part of Operation Lone Star. We should have about 25 or 30 troopers that, that are stationed here in Del Rio. Del Rio is one of those hot spots where earlier this fall, 15,000 migrants were gathered under this bridge. The governor's operation also gives troopers and guardsmen the ability to arrest migrants for criminal trespassing. We have over 1,400 arrests. Which is overwhelming local law enforcement. Operation Lone Star came in and started arresting all these individuals for human smuggling. Now the county incurred a, a loss in revenue from the, from the jail of almost a quarter million dollars. Kidney County, they were prosecuting 10 cases a year. Uh, they went from 10 to about 800. That's why U.S. Senator John Cornyn is meeting with local leaders who tell him the border town did not have the infrastructure in place to handle such a surge. The fact that the, these migrants showed up in Del Rio was not an accident. Uh, it was intentional by the smugglers because they know they can flood the zone. Uh, and overwhelm the capacity of local communities and of law enforcement. Even with Operation Lone Star, the number of migrants crossing the border illegally continues to rise. We, we've actually uh, interviewed several hundreds of, of the persons that we've arrested at the facility. There is a de deterrence factor. Uh, however, uh, it's not significant enough, you know, stop to stop them. Yeah. Texas leaders say they need more help from the feds. I'll take the stories I heard here back with me to try to move the needle and hopefully make some progress. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. Senator Cornyn filed the Border Solutions Bill alongside Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez and two Democrats, Texas Congressman Henry Cuellar and Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema.